Luke's racing. I didn't even notice that. That's killer. Let's get it right there. Vapor blasted. Whole nine yards. This thing looks sick. Brand spanking new, baby. It's replated, but it's replated to perfection. Already cross hatched and honed, ready to install. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on the next part of this CR85 Revive. So, today we are going to put the cylinder on, as well as uh, the piston. We got a Vertex piston kit here. Honda CR850307 standard bore replica, 47.45 size B. 22863B Vertex. Comes with... Obviously the piston. You always want to install the piston with the arrow facing the exhaust and your pin facing your ring pin facing the intake. Here we have a ring, a new piston pin, and circlips. Obviously that's gonna come out, but you want to test fit your ring. First and foremost. Need to tweak this bolt here real quick. Let's do it a little more. Much better. And your ring. See the stamp right there? That always faces up. Or if there's no stamp, there might be like an arrow or some type of shape. And worst case scenario, it's typically the taper will go up. So we're gonna put this in in the direction supposed to be let's check our end gap real quick start with 10 oh yeah I believe it's like 16 to 20 thousandths it's typical oh yeah 15 fits let's see exactly what it is can you guys even see this I'm just testing this little gap right here. Yep, 16. Okay, so the instructions for this piston, these pistons are only good for 20 hours is what they're saying. Pistons usage says 20 hours max for 50 to 124 cc. So, uh, definitely gonna get an hour meter on this engine. The ring gap for this says that it's six thousandths to nine thousandths per inch of bore. And these are like 1.8 or something like that. I don't know where. Yeah. Because my thumb is an inch wide. <laughs> right at the knuckle. So two inches would be 12, minimum of 12 to 18 thousandths. And we're at like 16, so we're good. I don't know if you guys have ever put a uh, piston ring on, but I like to start once... 
one side, just put it in the slot there, and just work it around. Then you can hold it on the opposite side, grab it with your fingernail, just pops into place. Next thing, I'm going to get this piston pin bearing. Looks to be in really good shape. No cracks in the cage. No burns. It's good. So we'll clean it off real good. By the way, I'm using Lucas semi-synthetic two-stroke oil to put this together. It's what I put all my two strokes together with. Haven't had an issue yet. Take your sear clips. You always want to, by the way, I've reused sear clips with no problem, but you don't want to insert them side by side because when the piston's going up and down, they can collapse and pop out. So you want to do them the gap up or the gap facing down. Never side by side, you want it up or down. Just like that. And you take your brand spanky new pin, coat it with two stroke, you get it started in the side. It doesn't have the pin yet. Like I said, make sure <clears throat> that your arrow faces the exhaust. You can almost hear it, folks. Bing, 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 bing. All right, good to go. Once again, just a tiny, tiny, thin coating, smear of oil, should allow this to be reused at least once, if need be. We're going to go 21 foot-pounds on both the cylinder nuts and the head bolts, head nuts. Give it a quick wipe. Want to coat your piston. Make sure you get plenty of oil in the rings as well, in the ring. Then you want to make sure your ring's in the right spot. Oh yeah. That is nice. Almost think I sunk that a little too deep. Okay. Let's 
So we're gonna do a crisscross pattern here. 20 foot pounds, 21 foot pounds, so we'll go seven pounds. Piece each round. I plan on firing this thing up tomorrow. Seven foot pounds. Fourteen. And Twenty one. Now the head. Same thing, we're going to do three steps. There we go. All right, well, this thing's looking pretty dirty. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. Okay, that's much better. Let's put the new gasket in. Going to use some blue Loctite on the bolts. These are usually six to nine, go six. Thank you.